Hey, what's going on, everyone? I hope you guys are doing well, and I hope that everyone is having a great day, and thank you for joining me here today for your daily dose of Star Wars. Luke Skywalker is one of the most, if not the most, beloved character in all of Star Wars. Not only is he arguably the most beloved character, Mark Hamill is just the most wonderful person on the planet. He's the nicest guy, he loves the fans, the fans love him, he loves Luke, we love Luke, and he's incredibly proud of it. Mark Hamill's had a very busy year promoting this movie since he didn't have too much to do during The Force Awakens due to his only appearance being at the end of the film. But this time around, we fans have gotten a lot more of Mark, thankfully, and I'm happy about that. And originally, it seems that Mark wanted to be more involved in The Force Awakens than his head-turning role allowed him to be. I said to JJ, it's too bad that Luke and Leia can't rush to Han Solo's side. I mean, we won't be reunited, yeah. and we'll still be too late to save him, but at least we have some history between us so that when he dies, it has a tragic element that resonates into the next film. Instead of having whoever was there, Finn and Ray, yeah. what are they known him, 20 minutes? Well, Chewie was there, so that's yeah. not a completely <laughs> fair argument. But as usual, J.J. was right and I was wrong. I thought fans would object to the fact that the three of us don't all get together. Yeah. They didn't seem to mind. I like Mark's idea of having Leia and Luke there to watch Han die, but that would have required rewrites in order to have that make sense for Luke and Leia to just show up there at that specific moment, let alone them showing up alone, but at the same time, there's a lot of explaining to do there. It's also no big secret that Mark disagreed with Ryan's portrayal of Luke, but he trusted him and he went along with the storyline for this new film, The Last Jedi, to make Ryan's vision come true. Mark gave us an idea of how he wanted Luke to be portrayed in this film. New trailer, Luke says it's time for the Jedi to end. That's terribly shocking. Yeah. I thought, I don't want to go there. I want to be the optimistic, hopeful one like before. But it's better to surprise people. And it's getting harder and harder to find ways mm -hmm. to surprise them because they're, they expect, they've seen so much and then they expect so much. So again, I think I'm wrong as, as the misgivings that I have were uh, set aside because I trust Ryan so deeply and he's just, I don't think I could have done it without him. Mark's definitely right about the fact that it's getting harder and harder to surprise Star Wars fans. Being eight films in, we've seen so much and we have our own ideas and we all have our own theories of what we want to happen, how it should happen, when it should happen, and it's just not a realistic thing to say that any Star Wars film now can please everyone. If they were to make Return of the Jedi for Episode 9, a remake of it, then fans would say that it's just Return of the Jedi with a fresh coat of paint and be unhappy. But if they had it all completely original, then some fans would say that it didn't feel like Star Wars or it just wasn't done right. There's truthfully no way to please everyone, and that's just the way it's going to have to be. That wraps things up for me here in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. If you're a daily coffee drinker or want to be one of the first to see a new video as soon as I can get it up, hit that bell down there to receive notification on your iOS or Android device the second a new video goes live. Thank you guys for watching. As always, keep loving Star Wars, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.